just say uh, congrats to Coach Martin, his staff, his team. Man, are they tough and physical. Uh, he's been so good to me since uh, we joined the league or since I became a head coach. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he's the type of leader of men that I want to become. So I, I, I couldn't respect a head coach more in this country than, than Coach Martin again. Uh, and, and his team was so tough and physical. That cross, watching that kid's journey for him to be able to knock those shots down at the end, he's earned that. So, um, but I, I'm extremely proud of the energy and the effort. You talk about 40, minute, 40 minutes of Florida basketball, and uh, we got it, second to last game of the year. I felt like that's as tough and nasty and physical because if you don't, you're going to get blown out of this building because that's who they are. So I felt like we were probably one of the few teams in, in this league that could match their physicality, and we did that. 17 offensive rebounds against a team like that, a coach like that. I'll take that every day. So I'm really proud of our energy. I'm really proud of our effort uh, and the pride that we had in the name of the front of the jersey tonight. And we got to continue to build on that. Coach, can you walk us through that last play? I mean, you can't get a better look to win the game on the road. Yeah. I mean, it was just uh, it was something that, um, you know, we, we ran in the past and uh, we just won a game on not that specific play. Um, against George Mason, Kyle Rose at the three that, that day. It was something similar, but not the exact same play. And, you know, we knew we wanted something at the rim and an opportunity to win. And uh, you can't, you know, ask for a better opportunity than that. And, you know, I had Charles' patience with the ball in his hands, the hard cuts that we made, the good screens that we made, those are tough to guard. And, you know, Kyle Rose, just like Coach Matt Cross, he's earned the right to make some shots. And, you know, he just made one. He missed that one, but he couldn't play any harder than he did. So we're good with that. Coach, um, UMass was without both Robert Davis Jr. and Keon Thompson. How did that impact your game plan prepping for UMass, especially as they typically go eight, nine deep, and they only went seven deep tonight? Yeah, you know what? Um, the way we play defense, uh, it really doesn't matter who's on the floor. It actually, um, Kid Curry's, uh, you know, he's explosive and he can he can do a lot with the ball in his hands. So that actually. Uh, was an adjustment we had to make when we found out that Thompson wasn't on the floor. Now, Thompson's really tough, physical, what a smart point guard, plays so hard. So I know that was a loss for them. But for us, it was it, we actually had to adjust our defense to play a little bit more aggressive on the perimeter. We weren't able to pack it in as much as we would have, no offense to Thompson, but with Curry having the ball in his hands. So, uh, but you got to give them credit. They made some big shots, big moments, and you know they're, they're tough, they're nasty, they're physical, and they finished. Any other questions? Uh, Coach, you guys travel home to face Rhode Island in your final regular season game um, with a whole bunch of stuff in the standings in line. What what are you trying to take away from this nail-biting game on the road to bring back into Rose Hill Gym, especially to end the season on a high note? Yeah, we're just trying to play the exact same, honestly, 40 minutes. That was the toughest and kind of the grittiest 40 minutes we played arguably since the second half in North Texas. And that's the conversation we just had. If we can play that way for 40 minutes, the rest of the way, I really don't know. Uh, I, I'm not fearing of any team that we play. If you can come into this building and play that hard and that physical on the road against that type of team, which in my opinion is the top four team in this league, I feel really confident that we'll be able to make a run. But we have to do that. And, and these guys understand what it's going to take, and we're capable of doing that for more than just tonight. And if we do that, I really like our chances over the next course of the coming uh, the next week or so. Coach, you guys went into a zone for a lot of that second half. How did that affect the way you guys ran your offense? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 tough, and they did a good job of uh, limiting Kyle Rose. Uh, he got loose a couple times late, but, you know, um, you know, he did a good job of mixing it up a little bit, so it kind of takes you out of some of your, your continuity that you want to run. But I thought we, we got the ball in the spots that we wanted to get. We got some good shots, and, you know, unfortunately, when you're on the road, it really the Achilles heel for us all year long has been the free throw line. And we got great shooters, guys are working on their game. So, you know, unfortunately tonight, I think we were, what, 11 for 19 and we missed maybe at least one. I know we missed one. I think we might've missed two front ends on one at once. And when you're on the road in a tight game, you gotta be able to make your free throws, especially down the stretch. And I think that was obviously the difference in the game. Anything else? Thanks, Thanks so much, go Rams. <laughs>